Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Hello there. How are we doing? Hope we're doing all right. I know I'm doing pretty good. I slept late, but I needed it again. This seems to be about the only time I can get caught up on my sleep is on my weekend. But anyways, we ready for pick up where we well kind of kind of pick up where we left off so to speak with our girl um go ahead and get us logged in with her um i'm trying to remember we're not uh what is it that her, her and i were doing oh yeah we were going to be doing the the, the rubbings um so I'll be waiting uh, with Mary uh, to do that because if you saw the stream when we were talking to the librarian, there's like a total of 30 of those rubbings, and I've done a total of two. <laughs> so there's 28 more rubbings in Vardenfell that I knew nothing about. I never spoke to the librarian before yesterday, so I didn't even know about it. All right, so... The rest of the stuff we're just going to leave alone. Um, well, let's, let's step out first. Get outside where it's a little bit oh, brighter, maybe. Yeah, a little bit brighter. Yeah, there's a... Was it Bardoon? She's sitting there now. Being held perfectly in place. All right. Um, all right. Let me see. First off, what do we have for our daily? Uh, those rewards. It's just the meat. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and let her take it. Um, let's see. Right. I was going to go to. Well, I guess I'll get my uh, stuff from my uh, hirelings. Get that out of the way. Journal. That's what I was looking for. Quests. Um, none. Well, I'm, I know there's three. There's the battlegrounds that I'm keeping just so I don't have to see the stupid four glory arrow in every every town. Uh, guild ankles, ankle, ankles. Yes, anchors from the harbor. Uh, so that's the um, fighters guild. And then the the uh, cold harbor that it's not time for that yet. So um, this is what we've got. Um, we are going to because we don't have any, we don't have any um, outstanding quests in this area. We've done all the you know all the quests that we found. So we're going to do like we did when we were in Elsewhere, and we're going to open the zone guide. And then it tells us what we still have to do. Um, we still have one delve. We have uh, two points of interest. Six world bosses to at least see if we can discover. There's two public dungeons. Uh, there's five locales. We still have ten sky shards. And we still have six library books. So, let's just... I guess just pick up where we left off, huh? I don't think it's going to... I don't know if it's going to be specific. But let's find out. Explore zone. Ah, it is going to take us to or show us that delve. Okay. So, best case scenario, looks like we need to go to Telmora. The Telmora Way Shrine. Uh, where's the closest way shrine to where I'm standing? Ah. Oh, it's up there. 
Where'd it go? Okay, so we're gonna take this way shrine to Telmora and then travel south. Oh, check message. Okay, um, the Delve, right, so we're traveling south, right, yep, all right. So, so just like, um, like I say, just like in, uh, when we were in Elsewhere, we're just basically picking up the last pieces of stuff, uh, that's left to be done in this area. And then we will be heading for the next one, but it's still it's still gonna be a while. We'll probably have let's see, am I getting close? Getting close. Um Let's see. This is a world probably this is a world boss. Can we get to him? I just wanna get to him just to be able to uncover it. Er Let's see. Discover it. I always want to say uncover. I don't know why. And I. Okay. Is that. Dublin Ultra Tower? Well, that's as close as I want to get. Because. Well, let's see. It did say I discovered it. So. There's no need to go up there and get my head handed to me just because I wanted to get closer. So the delve this way. Ooh. Right means I'll have to be all. Uh, I can pick up everything that I see if I want it because we won't have Mary. Here today, hear that? Where is it? Where'd it go? Just hear it. It's those things. Where's the other one? I could hear it in different. It's that. It's kind of a wet, almost visceral sound. Not one of my favorite sounds to hear. I'm really kind of surprised we have um, I don't know how we missed this delve either that or we just went past it defeat the boss in Polk I know we talked I think we talked about it uh, Mary and I Goodness, more messages, huh?
Right, um... Ah! Oh, that's how you get in. Okay. I took a, a wrong turn. Usually there's, um... Um... Not always. But usually, and lots of times, there's a quest giver. Like, just outside the delve. And sometimes just inside. I didn't look to see what my inventory was. I mean, how many spaces I have. Oh, I've got room. All right, I've got room. Come on. I hate it when my phone goes horizontal. When I have uh, messages. Okay, um, let's see. Do we have any boosts going on? No, we do not. All right. Uh, inventory. Slottables. What do we have? Something to in at least increase our, um, health. Let's see. Do I have any one? Yeah, I've got a couple. Here's a one shot. Let's use it. There we go. Give us almost 7,000. Oh, what was it? 6,400? Something like that for 35 minutes. It's not a ton, but, you know, you'd be surprised how much one of those will help. It's weird how some of the scavengers will attack you, and I don't know what sets them off. I don't know if it's um, being, like, right near them for so long, and then they... Be turn hostile. Speaking of turning hostile, um, I mean, is it that I have to be in there? Like I said, be near them in their line of sight or whatever for so long, or was it because I was I was looting stuff, looting containers? I just remember, oh, it was a while ago. I was somewhere, obviously. Um, why is there a Nyx Hound in here? That's a weird place for a Nyx Hound. Um, let's see. I think I'll go this way. Um, I was in somewhere, like, you know, like in a delve like this. And um, there were some containers. And there was a scavenger right by there. I was probably just a couple of feet away from the scavenger, so he clearly knew I was there. Um, didn't seem to bother him, and I was looting. And next thing I know, he turned violent and attacked me. And I didn't understand why. So, like I said, because I was there a bit before it attacked me. So if it was an aggressive creature, it would have attacked me as soon as I got in range. Alright, now I'm going to take out the Nyx Hound because it's going to do that. I was going to say, I thought I saw... Oh, yeah, I did see somebody. It was another player. I just say, do what you want. I'm just here to get my Sky Shard. I... Uh, thanks, I guess. A healing that I didn't need. Whoops. Almost forgot. <laughs> I'm slowly getting better. Let's see.
Uh oh. One of the dangers of trying to message when you're playing is, well, especially if you've got other players in there, you don't know exactly when or where the respawn is. Alright, let me try to finish this. What? Now I'm, I'm being going to be attacked by something? Oh, really? Come on, really? Jeez. If I crouch down, maybe that'll help. I just need a minute or two. Come on. See now. Why is he just standing there? I mean, I don't really care. Or she. I can tell by the sound of her voice. It didn't make any sense why she just stood there while I attacked her. Do not test me. Sounds Khajiit. Just because Khajiitis, for some reason, Khajiitis sound Russian. I do not understand why. <laughs> Don't. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, so let's go back the way we're going, right? So, to the hard left? Where is that? Seriously? Whoa! Hey, stop. I'm trying to figure what's going on. Okay, so this this is a dead end? How is Okay, all right. I see I kind of see what's going on. 
Sometimes these maps, especially when they're layered, can really screw with your head. Come on, phone. Stay where I need you. We just go... I was going to say, if we just go straight, we'll get to where what we're needing. Must have been the Khajiiti, I heard. Oh, I can't... I was going to say, the uh, Nixhound was too far away. I couldn't stop it from that health drain. Was this just a cubby hole? Yep. Whatever works, guys. Alright, let's see. What's up in here? Ooh. Um. Um. <laughs> I was just trying to back out to get some distance between these two. come from it's like geez come on people I know it's all part of the game and it is other people get in there ahead of you then it's just, you just don't know when the respawn is going to hit. Alright, so what do we got ahead of us? Okay, so this is a dead end here, so let's see if there's anything of consequence. And it's not looking like it. Um, nope. Alright. So we're headed this way. Come on. I hate it when I don't get my crosshairs on the enemy just right, and then I can't use my staff. It's real picky when it comes to that, which, I mean, I can kind of understand it. It makes, it kind of makes sense. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's it. Make the uh, Dark Elf Necromancer angry. It's a high, not a high respawn rate, a, a fast respawn rate. As you see, as I turned around, there was a guard headed in our direction. All right, where to now? Um, well, it says that way, so that's what we'll do. Of course, we still have to find the sky shard. So, defeat the boss, get the Sky Shard. That's the main purpose, or your main objectives in the Delve. Because, well, Delves have Sky Shards, and, well, you have to defeat the boss in order to get credit for completing the Delve. As we all know. Clump, 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 clump.
Got it before he tried his little thing. Hair in garlic sauce. Excuse me, waiter. There's a hair in my garlic sauce. So what now? Gotta go this way? Man, I don't remember this delve. I don't remember place being such a pain in the butt to get to. What is that? Var Why Vardenfell? Uh, that's 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 leaving. I'm not leaving. So I've been following that stupid arrow the whole time. I keep forgetting. Uh, that they don't exactly leave you. Um, quest arrows. So, oh, there's a lot of enemies. Well, I guess three is about average for it, um, it seems lately. Usually, it kind of seems like it would be two. That would be the average number of, uh, enemies you would have to fight at one time, but... Okay, so I wanted to come over here. Ooh. So I wanted to... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes, I wanted to. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and this is the place to do that. Goodness. Well, oh, it just said great sword. I don't care about the great sword. I'm sure it's just a junky one. I'm getting thirsty now. Oh, that's the player. I was going to say, who's running down here at me now? Is that? Oh, okay. Jewelry box. A drum. Well, let's see. Got to head this way. Barrels! Let's see. Where are we headed? How did I miss? Oh, no, no I didn't miss it. Uh, man. Uh, I think if, it, if it's not going to pull this layer monkey business on me again, how do Okay, so I can't go through that. I'm trying to figure out how am I supposed to get into that room. If you can at all. And I need to get in here. Because I think that's where the boss and the Sky Shard have got to be. And I took too long. And now we're in combat. And one of these days, I'm going to learn how to adjust the settings and stuff on my microphone so maybe I can get rid of the clicking sounds I make all the time when um, I'm playing, since I'm using a controller 
it makes a lot of clicking sounds. Can I jump down here? Well, I could, I suppose. That'd be one way to do it, wouldn't it? It would kill me immediately. No, I don't want to do that. I just I want I want to see how I'm supposed to get there naturally. Oh, this is not the way. That's not the way. I know I'm pulling a lot of enemies, but that's kind of the point. I'm gonna I use my ultimate if uh, they follow me. I know at least a couple of them will, if not more. Come on. I'm trying to get to a room, not just a, not just bottlenecking them. Well, let's see. Where are we? Um. Well, this is where I, where we need to go. Go get her. <laughs> I love that. I don't know. I don't understand why I get such a tr such a a kick out of watching the blast phones like go around a corner or go up a set of stairs to hit the uh, target. Okay, now we're down here. So, whoa. That's interesting. A green light. Sky shard? Oh, sky shard! <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. Talk about timing. I had a feeling I had aggroed uh, a uh, enemy. And I was hoping that they were going to uh, weren't going to be able to do anything to me right away. You know, because if they would have, it would have uh, probably broken the uh, collection sequence for the for the Sky Shard. I wish somebody would make one of these. You know, um, um, 3D print a Sky Shard and make it as a lamp. You know, make it look exactly like that and then put it on some or, you know, some kind of, you know, like just a, a wooden or a, or a stone looking base. Nothing fancy, just maybe a base about that thick. The same color as what the crystals are attached to. Um, make it, you know, just make it like a, uh, a desk lamp. Of course, as big as that is, you know, it probably would be like a small floor lamp, but you could use it as a as a table lamp um also have a like a switch on it uh, with a sound card so that way uh you know or a button or you know and uh it makes the sound the, the hum that it makes when you're approaching it and then there's another one that it makes a sound when you're collecting i think someone needs to get on that believe me if i had that kind of know-how yeah. Oh my gosh, all the all the stuff I would have. All right, let's see what does that say? Drink. Berry mead tonic. Food pot. Looks like some kind of chowder. Cinnamon grape jelly. Oh god, that sounds so gross. And why would you be cooking it in a pot? Oh. I don't like grape jelly and I and cinnamon and only small amounts and in certain circumstances. Where am I headed? Oh! Well, see, that's... These dungeon maps are such a pain. Because some of the map you can't see until you're, like, on the right level or in the right area. So you can see right right here there was an, I couldn't figure out how to get to this spot. Now I now I can get here because I'm at the right level. Well, hopefully the boss is right in here. I'm guessing he should be because it took a, a quite a bit to get here. 
We'll know if we see somebody that's got a name. That's just a marauder. Brawl that that could be our boss. It has to be. We'll know in a moment, in a few seconds if she was the boss. Yep. Now it says, uh, okay, that's all the delves. Now we have to hold this to respond. Show me the next place you want me to go to. All right. Um, that spot. So we just have to get out of the delve now. And that's always fun. That looks, uh, well, it kind of looked like a little suspicious, but nope. Right. So. There's no easy way to get out of here. Let's see, where's the quickest? There really isn't one, is there? Well, we've done all there is to do. I'm not going to worry about any more looting unless we get attacked. Which I can almost guarantee we will. Whoops, that's where the uh, Sky Shard was. I'm not entirely sure where I'm, where I'm headed now. I'm doing, yeah, I'm getting there. And then I just have to hang... Oops. I'll say I have to hang the next right, but I have to kill a bandit first. Oops. Not close enough. Oh, that one was. I didn't see him. <laughs> She doesn't like it when you crowd control her. She gets angry. <sighs> okay. Um Right, which way? Oh, that's right. I said the next right. Mm -hmm. So we can get out of this joint. Clump, clump. Ah, oh, Nick's hound. Is that even the way? Yep. Ooh, someone's mad. I guess because it just walked past her like she didn't exist. I thought I was going to be actually be able to leave. Oh, now I am. <laughs> sometimes if if um, I think it's if you're, I don't know, because sometimes you can actually go through a door when you're being attacked, and sometimes you can't. <sighs> Okay, so back down to the road and then this way for just a little ways. Adventure in whatever that said. Oh, I was going to say, why do they look all gray? I thought, like, maybe they were statues or something. I don't know. I'll say this kind of looked like a path. I'm guessing it wasn't.
Okay, I discovered a camp. What do you want? I didn't say I wanted anything. Okay, so it's gonna show us the next one. Of course, it's way down there. Cause why wouldn't it be? Closest to that is yeah, the Rahasahan the Navarasanan Way Shrine. Not even close to a... Well, I'm somewhat close to a way shrine. Not as close as I'd like to be. Um... Don't see really anything of interest. Oh, well, that'd be stealing. Um, all right, then. Uh, let's see. The closest way shrine is that way. So we'll get back on the road. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hong Kong. Beep, beep. And we'll head north to get to that way shrine. Um, I'll say, I said, yeah. What more do you need? Actually, I may not be able to get... Well, yeah, I would just have to go this way, looks like. Yeah. <clears throat> so, folks, how do you think... How do you, uh, how do you like uh, having Mary uh, come in and join? Adds quite a bit to the... To the stream, don't you think? I mean, I enjoy... I enjoy having... Uh, someone in the stream with me. Is that the way I want to go? Yeah, west. I mean, I enjoy, I, I enjoy the game, but, I mean... Ooh, what is that? I'm just seeing that big guardian over there and I'm thinking, hey, I don't recognize, remember him. Um, but, yeah, I've known... I've known Mary for many years. A Dwarven Centurion. I was wanting to see if he would suffer a good amount of damage running through the uh, lava, but apparently not. Whoop. I didn't get out of his way in time. Steam. Not even entirely sure why he's he's here. Now well, there's some kind of structure, so yeah. It's a place that needs to be discovered. Let's head over, see if we can get up there to discover it. Well, here's uh, some wood. Mm, 
Nope, not gonna be able to do that. Um. Here we go. See if this is a place we've already been. Probably is. I didn't mean to grab the fetcher fly. I meant to do this. So below is where that guardian is. So... Ah, Gal Galum Deus? Okay, well, we've been here. Isn't that weird how it's almost... That, uh... Light way down there almost looks like it's... I mean, like, got a blue glow to it. Oh, well. Um... Getting way off track here, aren't I? Or some iron ore. Yeah, I'm getting us off track. Well, not really. I wanted to see if that was some a place that needed to be explored. I know I didn't need to do that, but I didn't want to... Uh... Oh, he's not back yet. <sighs> so let me see. Well, let's just... Do it the quick way. Swimming through the lava. Ah, refreshing. Don't try that at home, kids. I, look, I looked up one time. Oh, it was a few months ago. Trying to find out how long you, you could actually survive if you, like, fell into lava. Yeah, I didn't get... Wasn't able to get the jute. I was in there. Range for too long. There. Now, I should be able to get it. Maybe. There we go. But yeah, it wasn't long. It wasn't long at all. The only bad, the only bad, what I considered a bad thing was it wasn't like an instantaneous death either. Ooh. So here's a, we can get this, um, oh, look at that. There's a, uh, a quest giver, but it's probably for that dungeon. We'll find out. I think that's what it is, is for that dungeon. Let's see what he has to say. If you've come to plunder these rooms, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. One of my competitors has really made a mess of things. Yeah. We suffered a major setback at the hands of Artisan Lenarman, a grave robber of exceptionally low breeding. He's looking for an artifact, you see, and thought he could use us to find it. I managed to escape, but left my Dwemer control rod behind. What is this artifact? The heart of Lorcan, as if it even exists. The irony is that this ruin really does contain an item of power, a Dwemer relic called a Bathark Prism. If you help me rescue my aides, retrieve my rod, and obtain this prism, I'd happily compensate you. Probably won't do it, but I have to go in there. All right, I'll help you save your compatriots and find this prism. With the exception of capable bodyguards like Vimy Lacroix, Finding competent assistance has proven difficult. Unfortunately, she and I were separated during our escape. I suggest you begin searching for Vimy at our camp inside the ruins. What is a Bathark prism? That's an excellent question. <clears throat> Scholarship on the subject leaves much to be desired. One of my less daring contemporaries believes it might function as a kind of codex, 
translating tonal patterns into legible script. Do you think your contemporary is right? Difficult to say. A tonal codex sounds almost too good to be true. But I don't have the luxury of dismissing such rumors out of hand, particularly when a scoundrel like Lenarman takes interest. Why is artis artisan uh, Lenarman trying to abduct you? Because he's an incompetent fraud. The fool couldn't find dirt if he fell off a horse. He needs an experienced scholar to guide him through the ruin. You see, Lenarman believes this might be the final resting place of the heart of Lorcan. What is the heart of Lorcan? Not familiar with the myth? Priests will tell you that the god Lorcan tricked various divine forces into creating the world. This upset the natural order of things, and so his fellow gods yanked his heart out as punishment. Do you think the heart is here? Don't be ridiculous. The heart of Lorcan is a work of pure fantasy. Unless you believe it plausible that Oriel attached Lorcan's talking heart to an arrow and shot it across the sea. We'll find no ancient god hearts here. Sorry to disappoint. You mentioned a Dwemer control device. What is that? Yes, one of my own design. A fine piece of craftsmanship, if I do say so myself. I hope those thugs didn't break it when they stole it from me. The rod exerts control over Dwemer automata. Even a fool like Lenarman could cause some havoc with it. So Nalarman has it now? Yes, and I'm sure he's using it to great effect. The rod can deactivate some of the machines and turn others into allies. Far too powerful a device for the likes of Lenarman. When you face him, make sure you retrieve that rod. Okay, well... There's probably a uh, sky shard in here, so we're going to see if we can, like, kind of sneak through. I don't like doing doing that, but this is a public dungeon. It's not meant for one person. So, just like a long hallway, and then we take the first right. No, this doesn't make me nervous at all. Hey, what was that? It's probably one of those butterflies. Woo! What's down there? Huh. I've never been in, in these. Because I didn't learn that there were actually sky shards inside these until recently. Okay, so now I have to be careful. Because I'm in a dungeon that's meant for four people. Jeez. Okay, so I'm not sure how the heck uh, I'm not going to be able to sneak past these. I know that already. They're just too damn close. I'm going to try it, and if I can't, then I'll just dead run it. Which pretty much, if you're not familiar with dead running... It just basically kind of means what it says. You just run and run until you're killed. And then once you resurrect, you just, you keep running. You keep doing it.
You know, I don't know how I managed to get past that group without being spotted. Well, no, I did get spotted. I just wasn't in their line of sight long enough for them to attack. Whoa! There's a river troll in there. I mean, normally I don't care, but, you know. Was there anything else in there, or just him? Doesn't matter now, does it? Because he sees us, and so he's going to attack us. Nothing, but that's okay. Uh, inventory. Slottables. We need something to give myself as much of a jump as I can. Let's see. 49, 52, 69. There we go. It's only 35 minutes, but it is a big enough boost that hopefully it'll get us closer to what we need. Oh, got a crouch. Crouches, crouches. So we are looking for a sky shard. I really don't care about the quest. I honestly do not. I'm not playing it for the quest. I'm playing it for the sky shard. Which, I don't have a clue where it is. I honestly do not. At least the Netches is one less thing we have to fight. Mm. We'll probably have to end up fighting those Dwarven Automatons. Sounds like it. Run, 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 run. I know, I know. Are they headed back? No. That was weird that it took him that long to go back. I really wasn't expecting... It usually doesn't take that long. It's usually they come up, they hit you once, and then they run away. Let's see where those others come from. if there's anything behind that, so... Oh, he's healing himself. Stop that. No healing for the river troll. I normally would have left him alone. Oh! It's alright. No big deal.
Got it. <laughs> Ooh, Warrior Poet's Girdle. Nice. Um, let's get out of here. Oh, right. I wanted to check to see if there's anything behind behind. Nope. I love it when I can get those those chests. Uh-oh. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to fight Kagudi. No, 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 no. Run. Come on. Come on. Run. Run. Oh. Woke up an automaton, apparently. Okay, let's see. Look around, look around, look around, look around. It's like, no, I have no clue where I'm going. No, you don't. God, this place is huge. But it is a four-man dungeon, so it's going to be. Jeez. Okay, just wondering what that was. I have no idea where I'm going. I honestly do not. I have no clue whatsoever. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was not cool. Where the heck am I even going? Well, there's the boss. Um.
a small army following me. <laughs> I know I'm not talking as much as I normally do. I'm just concentrating. I'm trying to... I'm trying to run all around, scope everything out, and try to find the uh, sky sharks. There should be one in here. Because I do believe there was in, uh, in the public dungeons in uh, elsewhere. Yeah, there was. So I don't know where the sky shard is. Um, I think it was already here. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. Uh, man. I don't know where else to look. That's the thing. It shows straight behind and go up go upstairs. Okay. Easy does it. You're safe now. You're not one of Lenormand's thugs, are you? <laughs> You look too smart for that. Full disclosure, this place is crawling with mercenaries and automata. No. I wouldn't linger if I were you. Unless you're the adventurous type, of course. How can I help? Hmm. Naralmo wants you to snatch his stupid control rod back from that oak Lenarman, right? Well, we've got bigger problems. I rescued this lot from Lenarman's mercenaries, but they still have our dig leader, Kasuda, and two others. I'll track them down. Anything else? Well, if you're feeling spry, you could try to track down some information about this Bithark prism Naramo keeps yammering about. I was ready to cut and run, but with your help, we might still be able to turn a profit on this disaster. All right, I'll help you search. We're really doing this, huh? No, probably not. Appreciate the effort. Lotaya will get this lot back to the surface. Naramo and I will be right behind you. Oh, wonderful. Uh, tell me about the workers who are still missing. Like I said before, Naramo hired Kasuda to lead the dig. She's tough as they come, organized too. She made my job a lot easier, I can tell you that. Most of the time I have to whip the party into shape every now and again. Not with Kasuda. And the other two? Right, Tholador and Tyrnia. Tholador's a sharp-eyed wood elf. We brought him on to look for traps. Tyrnia's a sellsword like Loda Eels. Unfortunately, they're both mouthy as Alix. I hope they haven't made Lenormand mad enough to kill them. What happened exactly? Did Lenormand ambush you? Yeah. Nachula Tink's chock full of dark corners and hidden perches. We made it about halfway through the ruins, and Lenormand's goons came down on us like a sack full of hammers. I got Naramo out, but he lost his rod during the scuffle. Don't you hate it when you lose your rod during a scuffle? Uh, so you went back and rescued them, rescued these others after Naramo escaped. I did. Pulling Duran and Varane out wasn't too hard, but Loda Eel was anxious to dole out some justice along the way. Ended up stabbing and hacking our way out. We really stirred up the hornet's nest. Now Lenormand's thugs are on high alert. Do you believe the heart of Lorcan is here? Hey, I just work here. If Naramo says the heart isn't here, that's good enough for me. My only concern is rescuing our diggers and keeping them safe. Of course, finding some loot sure wouldn't hurt. <laughs> well, this isn't exactly what we're I see you're still alive. what we've signed up for. What are you doing in here? Didn't I just get you out? I will not have Lenarman stealing my prize. With our friend here, I have nothing to fear. All this optimism. Wow. No offense, friend. I know secret paths through the ruins. We will shadow our intrepid assistant and help as opportunities present themselves. Oh, goody. See anything here? No. Nope. So where am I supposed to go now? Oh, wonderless. I don't know, folks. I may just end up, you know... Whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen, but I kind of did it, didn't I? Um, because last time I looked up where the uh, all the sky shards were on my phone and elsewhere, and did it that way. Um, I'll probably have to do that again. Uh, 
Well, I mean, I know I will, but I just don't know. Oh, man. I really didn't want to have to fight because there's a lot of people here. Like I said, this is meant for four people. It's not meant for one. And I will... I will pay for this. Stop doing that. I hate... I hate doing that, but... Sometimes that's what I have to do. There's Thalador or Tha yeah. Oh, you're a lifesaver, literally. Watch for steam vents up ahead. They always hit before they fire. All right. Good luck. I'm getting out of here. You do that. Um, is this the way I'm supposed to go? Probably yes. Unfortunately, darn it. I think that's where that troll was, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. That's where he was. Or is. <laughs> oh, bother. Hi! Stop that. Oh, man. Come on. Well, there's the troll. So, I jump down there. The chest is gone. So, which way are we supposed to go? <coughs> Straight ahead, apparently. Oh, it's getting so hot in here. There's no getting about it. It's in a... It's probably... Um, low 70s, which is too hot for me. Oh, man! I injured the... Bull Netch. I hate that. Yeah, you got, got to be careful. If there's netches, you know, bull netches around, if you accidentally, like, injure one, they're going to attack you. And they're not the most fun creatures to uh, have to fight. They are tough. They pack a punch. Where the... F Where the hell did you come from? Jeez. But like I said, this is a dungeon meant for four people, so it is not going to be easy for me at all. It's going to be a very, very hard, dangerous trek. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's three of them. Dang it. Um, how many shards do I have? Oh, I've got a ton. All right. The only reason I'm asking is I'm. I don't know where they went. They vanished. Okay. Where? 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 Um, straight. Okay.
can hear a lot of hissing and I don't like it. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, jeez. Alright, where are we supposed to go now? Oh, right there. Oh my god, look at all those automatons. Well, let's do it. Let's try to concentrate on one at a time. Come on, you. Whoever you are, thank you. The Narman went deeper into the ruin. You can catch him if you hurry. I really don't want to. I have to get back to the expedition. Don't go easy on these brutes, all right? <laughs> don't go easy on these brutes. Why? I want them to go easy on me. Whoa! Still haven't. Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot. This is crazy. How big is this part? Well, who knows? Maybe we'll. Maybe the sky shards in here. I hope so. Cause I've done an awful lot of <laughs> going around the ruins. All right, let's... I don't know. I don't know, peoples! I just do not know. Everybody keep your eyes peeled for a pillar of light. Because I'm not seeing one so far. And I really, 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 really don't want to have to come in here again. Oh my god, look at all those people. I don't think that's where I need to go, though. What is that? Just a... Oh. <laughs> Excuse me! Dang. Came around that corner, saw them. So this was just a uh, coming around corners thing, huh? Okay. Okay. Um. I know I keep getting myself into more and more trouble by just not paying attention. But I am at a, dis a great disadvantage, and I do not want to fight that group. That is a heck of a lot more than I can handle. Can I get underneath that? No. Dang it. Let's see. Ooh. Right, what I want is up here. Sake. 
Oh, <laughs> nice. Um, I should be able to get down these stairs without aggroing anybody. I hope, I hope, I hope. God, this is ridiculous. Oh, shoot. No, you don't. I will jump, motherfuckers. <gasps> Not exactly where I was expecting to go. Yeah. Couldn't do it right there. So what is this, at the very beginning? Close. Get our stamina back up, because I'm just gonna go right down, right down the throat. Because I don't know where else to go. Let's see. If I lose dirt, let's see. Okay, that's that. So it's all this way. So apparently I have to go in here. <laughs> Gosh. This is insane, folks. I mean, I know some of these... These, uh... Um... Dungeons are bit... Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Of course there's a whole bunch of them. So, I've got, I've got the, <gasps> there it is. This is all I care about. I don't care about anything else. so weird that they're still coming. A lot of them turned around. But then a lot of them came back. was a mess, wasn't it? Alright. Well, we got it. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Now, jeez, look at the size of this place. And I gotta get all the way over there.
If I could just make it out of this joint alive. Breaches. I was beginning to lose hope. Lenarman's ahead, still struggling with Naramo's control rod. I think I can make it back on my own. Be careful down here, friend. <laughs> Be careful down here, friend. I can't. <laughs> I am one. I'm one woman doing the work of four. Piss off. All right, so I have to make it down there. All right. So I'm basically just dead. This is just dead running. Even though I've only died, what, once? Maybe twice? Oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, man. I mean, oh, good, 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 good. Hello? Um. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm getting I'm getting hot. Uh, well, let me see. I'm gonna turn on my ceiling fan. At least I know that one doesn't make too much noise. That's high. That might be medium. We'll find out in a minute. Cause I need something because I'm sweating. And it makes it hard because then I have to keep drying my hands off. Well. I wouldn't touch that up. One moment. One down. I wasn't going to touch it. And the other. I was, yours. I was actually going to just kind of run and try to dive through it. Let's hope that rod still works, because otherwise, this will get really tedious. So, at the talk to... Oh, okay. I was going to say, where am I supposed to go now? Oh, that thing's barely moving. So I'm thinking I didn't get it going. Let's try that again. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. There, that should put it on. On medium. All right. Um, geez. Where am I supposed to go now? That way. Okay, so. Hug the left as best as you can. Or just, oh, geez, make a run for it. Wasn't really planning on, like I said, trying to beat this dungeon. You know, actually do the quests involved. Um, but I, you know, we've got to get out one way or the other. We've got the sky shard, 
And so I'm just kind of... I, I yes and no doing the quest. I'm kind of like, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the sky shard. Well, goal one was get the sky shard. Goal two was get out <laughs> alive. You know, find the exit. If um, I had to, uh, if I managed to complete any quests or parts of the quest line in the process, then all the more better. Uh, and it looks like my food buff is gone. I think all those were just the ones, the first ones that I aggroed. And it just took them this long to catch up. see about another uh, max health. I don't even remember what I ate. It was food, I know that. Alright, let's talk to Naramo. Fine work retrieving the device. Good help is so hard to find. No offense, Vini. Now, the control rod, if you please. Here's your Dwemer control rod, Naramo. Wonderful. Now, we simply tighten the capacitor, we set the tonal frequency, and... Oh. What's... Oh. The Narman somehow managed to crack the resonator crystal. That, of course, led to a catastrophic misalignment of the tonal assembly. In other words, this rod is useless. Of course it is. I've never seen one of my tools so thoroughly ruined. I'm almost impressed. So... We can't turn the dwarven constructs against the mercenaries? No. But it's not a total loss. With the rod broken, the Narman cannot turn any more of the automata against us. That may hamper his progress as well. It's more victories, yes? We're close. I know it. We must keep moving forward. <laughs> Your optimism is sickening. <laughs> All I know is we've got another camp to go to. That looks like I'm supposed to go up to that door. It is. Ow, 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 ow. I've gotten behind him before. Cath Cathedra. All right, let's see. What does the map look like? Who knows? We might actually be at the at the end. I don't see us being able to beat the boss at the end. That's. I mean, I know she's I know she's good, but. Yeah. Yeah, we are going to have to fight him. Dang. Well, I knew we'd have to. Shoot. Oh, well. Let's do this. I'll give it another try. Come beaming to battle. Stay behind me, you idiot.
Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to make it. <clears throat> we'll try one more time. We have to take it. We have to take out that wherever he is. There he is. We have to take out the ones that can do the electric, electrical, because that's what's doing the most damage to us. We're so close. I don't know if it's gonna make it make a difference. Oh, we were so close. Yep. Wow, I hope it's over. Oh, what is this? Retrieve. Oh, I have to retrieve the prism. Oh, please, God, let that have been the boss fight. Actually, I know it was. I just don't want there to be a second boss fight. That's remarkably unimpressive. Looks can be deceiving, my dear V. This is our prize. Hooray. I wouldn't mind taking a look around this vault before we leave. Quite a trove we've discovered. What is this? Ancient astrolabe. Yet another Dwemer astrolabe. And worthless story of our lives. Centurion head. And there's 
A Centurion head here... why? Without the interior machinery, I'm afraid we're left to wonder. I do love wondering. <laughs> Ooh. The Heart of Lorcan, my final prize. The book. <laughs> no, the movie. All right. And empty chest. Well, here's a gem. This coffer held something of special significance. Let me guess. You have no idea what it was, and it's gone now. Right, on both counts. Well? Let's double check. Social. No, it's not social. Journal. Quests. And the one I'm doing right now. She says return to the surface. Alright. I don't know how the heck we did that, folks. That was a nightmare. And what does that say? Talk to Naramo. Naramo. Ooh. Oh, just pewter. And now I'm not going to look at that for glory thing. There was a reason I took the quest so I wouldn't have to stare at it. Man. <laughs> that was the roughest dungeon I've ever completed. Alright. No one's talking. Alright, well then I'll talk to him. Another successful expedition. There were hiccups, yes, but a few bruises and one broken limb are a small price to pay for a find like this. Speaking of our find, do you have the prism? Yes, I have it here. Excellent. I've already devised a number of experiments to test its capabilities. If the prism does function as a tonal codex, every scholarly journal in Tamriel will take notice. You'll receive some credit, of course. A glowing footnote. At least. <laughs> yeah, the very bottom somewhere. Do you think anyone will follow in Lenarman's footsteps looking for the heart of Lorcan? Regrettably, yes. When I gather with other Dwemer scholars, I will make it my mission to stress the raw magnitude of Lenarman's failure. But there's no reasoning with some people. The mystique of the heart is just too strong. More's the pity. All right. You mentioned splitting the profits? Yes, of course. Never let it be said that Noramo doesn't compensate his assistants. Your aid proved invaluable. Hmm. I trust you. Whoops. Well, we went up a level. He was going to say something to us. I don't know what the heck it was. Well, let's go ahead and take our level. Choose one. I mean, I'm wearing heavy, but it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm not. Well, that, that, might, that might be nice. Let's see, we got. Oh, there's one of those endeavors. Which we don't mess with. Okay, so let's see. Um. I'm just trying to see what all I have. I think... I will put in one in Lumberjack Hireling. Um, how's... Let's see... And... Oh, 
we'll do that to increase our resistance. And then maybe we'll pick up another ability. Um, what's shocking? Wait, let's see. Well, we've already gotten all those. Let's go ahead and pick up the last one. Violently drain the last spark of life from a corpse, dealing 9620 shock damage over 12 seconds to all enemies around the corpse and between you and the corpse. This ability scales up your highest offensive stats. Do I want to assign it? That's the question. Why not? Um, let's see. I don't want to replace like bla blast bones or anything because that's that's like one of my favorites. Um, let's see. Let's assign it to, both of these are full, all right. Um, we'll put it here. Um, I what now? Ricochet skull. Yeah. I was going to take Here we go. A sign. Right there. Okay, there we go. I don't know what the heck happened. Um, right. Um, we've got a new memento. Oh, that's a memento. Well, that's dumb. I thought it was. It might. Did I? I thought I got it as a. Uh, as a weapon. I didn't. Well, that's a kick in the head. Huh. Well. That was rude. I thought I thought for sure that was a uh a real staff. Oh yeah, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose the war, my warrior poet um, piece. Yeah, the prophet set gives me health, but yeah, I lose a lot. Um, where's waste? Didn't we get something? Yeah, here's another piece. Um, yeah, much better. That's a much better piece. I still need one more. Still need one more piece of a uh, warrior poet set. Let's see. What do we have? Uh, that's not warrior poet. So the the legs are. Hands aren't. So leg. Let's see. Legs. Girdle. Shoulders. Chest. Those are all warrior poet pieces. I wonder if any of his uh, jewelry is as well. Nope. All right, well. Okay, um, map time. Whoops. Almost time to end the stream. Um, all right, let's see, we still have, well, we, I mean, we still have a lot to do. Let's see, explore. Oh, we're right close to that camp. 
How about that? All right, let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and go there. I mean, we are just like, like I said, just right there. Uh, figure out how the heck to get to it though. Let's see, can we do this and then? Come on, there's got to be an easy way, but nope. All right then. Oh, copper seam. Okay. Sometimes trying to go over a mountain pays off. I mean, you've seen me do it enough to know that it's kind of 50-50. Ooh, come on, get past them. Get past them. There we go. Whoa. I'm not really... I don't really want to get into a big knockdown, drag out fight with people. Right, there's the camp. Alright, so that's all the points of interest. And next is... The monastery. So, the quickest way... Oh, boy, that's just going to be a ride. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so we're going to have to travel east. I mean, we're not doing it today. We're not doing it today. No, that sees all colors. Yeah, there it is. It'll be hard to see. But, let's see. Is there anything else I need to do while I'm thinking about it? Uh... Okay. Let's see if I have any, oh yeah, patterns and recipes. Preview die stamp, even though I'm not going to, thank you for getting in the way. Yeah, see, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't want to do that to that armor. I'll find, I mean, I do want to, I do need to change get her armor worked up a little bit. That's one thing I've never done. But, let's see. Um, I just want to see where I'm at. I mean, I could fiddle with the clo clothing station, but I don't really know if I want to right now. Just to see about maybe changing her outfit a little bit. You know what? Why not? But here's how we're going to do it. Since I know where where the stuff is, I'm going to just go to elsewhere. Let's go to Rimen. And I'll pay the 114 to go there. Change her outfit a little bit that I want to do if I can, if it'll let me. Um, and then come back. I've been thinking about messing. Oh, and plus I can, if there's, um, I can break stuff down too. And sell stuff. So, yeah, we'll do all that. And then, and then heck, go back to close to where we were. Actually, it'd be a little bit closer. Be a different way shrine. Shorten our trip by what? I think it was close to half. It's slow sometimes. Oh, goodness. Oh, <laughs> you're lurking and working. Okay, well, I don't know what that was all about. Um, right. Um...
Well, I'm glad you snuck in, Mary, poking your head in while you were working. Okay, um, so let's... Do we want to keep breaking stuff down? Or do we just want to sell it? I think we just want to sell stuff. Mathonda! Wakey, wakey! Let's try that again. I'm not welcome back home, not at all. Used too many thoughts in my potions, you see. And of course, there was that incident with the spinner's daughter. <laughs> Right, uh... I'm just thinking, do I want to? Yeah, let's just sell. Stamina, max magicka, max... Oh, no, 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 no. We're not selling anything that gives us max health. Keep the poison, I think. Nah, we get enough poisons from the sign-ins, at least for now. wearing those. I wonder what kind of boots I have on. Cause that would give me the that would give me the warrior poet set. Well, I'm gonna look in a minute. Let's see. Okay, now this is deconstruction, so I'll save those for deconstruction just because. Uh, right. Inventory. Feet. I'm wearing sabotage. Oh, okay. So I can throw those on. Um, yeah. I didn't even see that. That will give me the full five. There we go. So now we get gain major toughness at all times, increasing max health by 10%. And plus that fifth piece also gave us 15, 17 max health. So, nice. All right. Um, let's see if there's anything to deconstruct now. Yep. Get inspiration for it. Hello? I'll say, I need in here, please. And we'll take that apart. And... Oh, I still want to keep that, don't I? Just because... Just because it's a blade from Vivek. I know I'll get more, but... You know. I have a sentimental spot for Vivek. Right. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Um, over here. Did I get... Did I have any jewelry? Nope. If that's the thing you don't want... That's one thing you don't... You If you're going to do crafting, one thing you don't want to do is sell any extra jewelry. Don't sell it because it is so hard to get jewelry in the game. 
to uh, be able to deconstruct, increase your skill. So take it when you can get it. Okay, where? This is where I'm headed. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Right, um, let's see. Yes. Yes. Uh, too not dark enough. No, still not. No, that's purple. trying to think if I even like that. Now, I like the black. What about some kind of silver? That's a little bit better so I could get a better red. Or maybe that... Is there a... Uh, <laughs> Necromancer blue. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that's actually not bad. Um. Oh, that's a companion. That's what she looks like with the armor she's currently wearing. <laughs> oh, ain't she a looker. <laughs> oh, she probably hates my guts right now. So we're probably wanting... Let's see. Collections, collections. Weapon styles, I think, isn't it? Let's see, um, staff. Oh, that's kind of cool. What's that one? Opal, oh, this item cannot be dyed. I don't care. Ooh, that would be neat. Application cost, 3000 well, I could afford that. That's that skin skin changer, yeah. What is that? Deadlands Gladiator? No, I still like that one, so I gotta figure out how to Let's see if that'll do it. I think you have to do it through the outfit station. I can never remember, and I don't understand why. Here we go. That looks like it might actually let us.
There we go. Why is there a hiding spot there? Well, see if you can kind of kind of see what it looks like. That's about the best I can do. Oh, say that was a weird sound. Okay, so I got her outfit changed until I can find a nice, maybe like a deep red. Um, got rid of all the stuff that I didn't need. All right, so we're going to head back to where we were and call it a day. Ooh, there was a little tiny little hiccup, wasn't there? All right, so we're going to head back to Vardenfell, and we are going to go to, is it Molagmar's closest? Looks like, so Molagmar Way Shrine. All right, so the stream's not, not too far behind, just, just maybe 10 seconds. I thought it was a little bit longer than that. No, oh, excuse me. Let's see. She was talking about something. Mary was talking about something about no sound. I want to make sure that it's... But my stream is fine. Let's see. She was talking about something. Yep. I can hear myself talking. That's all I needed to know. Okay, so we... Which direction are we going to be headed? I just, okay, yeah. That's the direction. All right. Apparently, I opened up another set somewhere. Vardenfell, I should know. I've already known that. Woo. All of that. All right, all right. She looks a little bit, a little bit better, don't you think? <laughs> But like I said, if I want, I would like to get a, a dark red for that because I think that would look pretty cool. And for some reason, the reds that I have they look better in the little squares than they did when I actually applied it to the outfit. So I want a nice deep, almost like a bloody a blood red uh, color. So that's silver. Oh, the, I think they what do they call it Necro, necromancer blue. Oh, I don't care about that. That's a uh, battlegrounds thing, but yeah, see, it really, it really brings uh, brings the colors out. I made the I made the black blacker, and then made that. It's kind of a silverish gray, and then her staff. I know her staff doesn't really fit her color tone, but that's okay. So, but anyways, folks, that's going to do it. <laughs> Added a little bit longer, but you know, sometimes those things happen, but Hey, I look at it this way. We went into a very big dungeon, a public dungeon, which is meant for at least four people. And not only did we get the sky shard, but we also completed the quest linked to that dungeon by ourselves with no help and even was able to beat the boss it took what three four tries but then we you know figured out you know how to do it and we pulled it off so <laughs> so anyways uh, like i said that's gonna do it folks um so i hope you will join me uh saturday for um next stream and um Oh, my, uh, my uh, stream strength or whatever dipped temp just for a second. But that's okay. I mean, we're at the end of the stream, so it doesn't matter. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, we, uh, we might see, Ma uh, Mary might be able to pop in. Well, actually, it'd be Saturday, so yeah, she would. Um, 
But anyways, folks, um, that's going to do it. So uh, join me Saturday for uh, next stream. And I guess I'll see you all then. <laughs> so take care, everyone. And uh, thank you again uh, for being here. Thank you for poking your head in, Mary. Um, and remember, for those of you not watching this uh, live on Twitch or just watching it on Twitch, uh, make sure to go to twitch.tv forward slash Grim Fury. Um, I've got it down in the description. Um, and give me a follow. Um, I would really appreciate it. Uh, it helps bring me closer to affiliate so that eventually I can start uh, monetization, which is the ultimate goal. Well, no, the ultimate goal is to do this for a living. The first step is to get to affiliate and, and be able to start monetization then it's get the numbers built up so but i can't do it without you guys so give a follow and i'll see y'all next week <laughs> yeah no not next week i'll just see you all in a in a, in a couple of days <laughs> so take care everyone love you bye bye <laughs>